1087, um, bringing you guys Sonic 1 Glitchless. I got Big John, Argic, and Cutie with me on commentary. So uh, we'll just go on, I'm going to say let's rock for a go, so I'm going to reset the console here. I'm going to let the commentators like handle most of the commentary while I'll be playing the run. So Here we go in three, two, one, let's rock. Yeah. yeah. So as with any good old Sonic game, we are opening with the original Green Hill 1. Uh, now, what's different here is, is because this is the original Sonic game, we don't have any spin dashes, so we're not going to see any of those fancy moves coming up here. But Super Sonic does know how to do some little speed-ups here. We're going to roll down this hill here with a loop. We're going to jump up it and jump down it, giving us a nice big boost of speed here. Going to jump at the bottom of the hill, keeping the speed from the jump, jumping over the spikes, double jumping over the double, and finishing in 26 seconds there. So we're going to have a nice big score bonus of 50,000, yep, 50,000 right there. So we're going to have to wait for that to count down. That's because he finished before 30 seconds. RTA, you can wait to 30 and then finish, but Sonic games are usually tied in IGT, and we just allow that to go. And Link Boss is falling asleep over in the corner there because we have to wait for the countdown. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you notice something in the beginning of each level, you can see something that he's doing each time. He's usually jumping right before he goes. He can't just walk and go. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, jumping at the start there allows you to get a little bit more of a speed boost there. He's just trying to get enough speed to do a roll through the wall. Oops. And then uh, grab the speed shoes and away those. he goes. Whoops. Excuse me, motorbug. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, we're fine now. Yeah, so we're going to time a few bounces, no, we're not. landing exactly where we didn't <laughs> want to in the bonus pit. <laughs> Instant karma. So we're going to do that zone again. Forget that happened. Scrub the last 30 seconds from footage. It's fine. We just wanted to show you the beginning again. Yeah. Wait, this is live? Hold on. Uh, <laughs> I was expecting that, to be honest. So. Yeah, trying to do the uh, the precision bounces over from the life box to the invincibility all the way over. It's it's a fairly precise thing, because you want to time a jump so you get right over and not fall down onto the uh, into the bottomless pit there. Yeah, this is one of those games, you know, this is a glitchless category. So, unlike a lot of Sonic categories where you're zipping and stuff, this is really, you know, you think, oh, glitches is going to be boring. But, you know, it takes a lot of skill to have these precise movements. And, of course, Act 3 coming up is just an example of some pretty swag movement. I'm sure Super Sonic is going to nail without any issues. Right? Um, yes. We'll <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. Another thing, um, so while I was watching him in his practice, he was teaching me, like, how he was using visual cues. Oh. At a certain point, and this it's going to be right uh, here. Uh, yeah, I missed it. I got to go to the back up now. Okay, never mind. Yeah, so we're going to take the bottom right now. Um, ideally, what you would want to do at the top there is grab at the speed shoes and then bounce up towards the top right, allowing you to do a number of precision bounces off a few enemies and ring boxes, heading straight to the boss. However, because he was able to miss the uh, the platform and then decided immediately to go for the backup route, using the speed shoes that he obtained, using the invincibility that he grabbed just before the boss, he can still finish the level in under 40 seconds here. Nicely done. Gotta love hearing the Green Hill sound just come up again <laughs> after invincibility ran out. So. All right, now we got Marble Zone coming up, which is like my least favorite set of st stages. Does anyone even like this zone? It's just, <laughs> nah, it's, it's Dull City. And, you know, I mean, again, you know, you've got fire, you've got these nice. these enemies that break apart, you know, when you kill them and... Fire bouncing and... Oh, yeah. My understanding from this level is that it's all about timing and the like making these cycles and there's certain cycles like there's the first cycle and then you have the second cycle and with the first cycle you want to like get through all of that and then you like i don't know but the second cycle is where um you kind of just like wait a little bit more but the reason why it's important to know these cycles is because later on when you're damage boosting yeah there's some there's some cool uh, spike damage boosting here you know to skip waiting for some of these falling spike um, platforms of course right there just running into those it is death if you get crushed down there, but he's not scared of that. Hey, there's a spike boost right there. Yep. Yeah, you got to be careful when you're running under the lava as well, because those blocks are falling down. And even though it's lava and they'll just kind of like float there, they can just crush you and it's back to the start of the level. Really and a nice one minute time. Yep. Too bad Act 2 won't be one minute flat. No, <laughs> Act 2 is much longer. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Act 2 has there's a design more. like, let's make the level one. You know what, let's just copy and paste it and do it all over again, basically. So... We even have the the favorite all time just waiting for the platforms coming. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> At least it's not an auto scroller. 
Uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> yeah, so I gotta set a spike right side. Yeah. So we're in the platforms. Yeah, just do a damage boost instead. It's yeah, fine. No biggie. Cycles Joke. were a little off. No big deal. And then again, instead of waiting for this platform, we're just going to do two nice big jumps, skipping that entire lava section, making the cycle for these blocks. Nicely done. Nice jump. Now he's trying to time some of the jumps that he's getting here on the upper parts of the slope. Uh, okay. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> oh, what was that sound again? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I'll just make random noises when something goes wrong. Which speedrunner doesn't? Uh, yeah. <laughs> True. So playing in danger is going with no rings towards the end of the level here. Again, once you've got no rings, you get hit again. That's it. You're dead. You're back to the last checkpoint that you've hit. Yep. And he, it wasn't a minute, but it was a minute nine. He was close. Yeah, close enough. It's not yeah. bad. And again, each stage in this game has three acts. The third act will contain the boss. But before that, we've got more of the same. Yay. Uh, yay. <laughs> so it means it's even longer. But this is the act that has like a couple paths here. You know, it's kind of interesting that Super Sonic plays this game because, you know, he's around Lost Levels in a little bit, and both of these games have, have potables. They have fire that comes up out of lava. Maybe that's why he picked this one up, too. <laughs> Very <laughs> similar, yeah. Those boos, by the way, I like to call them peekaboos. Hmm. Well, I call, I call Pokemon Poke Chew, so, you know. <laughs> oh, this is the best part of these levels. Yeah, yeah. Here, here's this little auto school oh. section. We have to wait on this block because this block's going to get boosted by some lava, allows us to take a little secret route that is quicker than waiting for the level itself. This quicker, okay. Uh, I, I mean, yeah. Nope. I mean, have you seen what's done the other side oh, there? Oh, man. You know what? I think I've taken this little shortcut here so many times, I don't even know what the normal level looks like. Yeah, me, you know? me neither. I've got no idea. It's like, oh, what's this? But I think everybody kind of casually just did that extra life there. Again, yeah. some damage boosting here. Got to be careful. Don't get hit by the spikes that are popping out. I remember casually, I was so excited to find that extra life. I thought I was like part of a secret club or something. Did you like submit like the secret to like either trying to give me monthly or something, you know? <laughs> no one should have. Like, look at me. <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> so this is basically a trivial fight here, you know, hit him, bounce across, and uh, okay. get hit because it, this looks cool and he's using sound effects and eight hits later. All right, we're fine, we're fine. That's Supersonic speedrun uh, speed noises volume three will be available <laughs> on eBay very soon. <laughs> <laughs> I have a really good soundboard for your stream when this is over. Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we got Spring Art coming up, which is actually a pretty fun set of stages. Um, some technical stuff coming up as well. And the music. Yeah. yeah. Yes, <laughs> yeah. man. Lots of big jumps if they, uh, if they go well here. Yeah. So we're going to hit the spring, head up to an area that contains a life in speed juice. going to ignore the life because we don't need it. Grab a few rings in our speed juice here. Then we're going to use this slope. Nice jump through the bumpers there. Heading over the top of the level. I didn't didn't get the jump, unfortunately, uh -oh. so we're taking the bottom path, which is not that good. Uh, but we can go uh, away, fake Sonic. We don't like you. Go away. Oh yeah, I, awesome. I don't know the bottom route. No, at all, so. unfortunately, <laughs> it's not as fast as we would like it to be. So we got to deal with Yeah, so now we've got these boring blocks we have to wait on. Yeah, normally when you go through the top, you're, you're skipping all this. Do not try and jump through those boxes early, they will crush you. Yeah. Yeah, this kind of follows the golden rule of Sonic, you know, upper paths are usually the best paths, and bottom paths are, you know, kind of scary. Yes. Trying to sneak into that little hole there, unfortunately, yeah. just a little bit too fast not to make it in there. That's okay. Now, the, there's fun, something interesting about this one that I saw in practice that he taught me for the next act, or next zone. And that would be? Well, so notice when he jumps to the left. Mm -hmm. How he jumped into that spring is super important because you can't just walk into the spring. You would just automatically hit this other thing and it'll push you backwards. What yeah. he did was he jumped into it, and so therefore he was able to go upwards and then jump on over. Nice. All that speed tech. Yeah. <laughs> Take notes. I thought that was so much fun. I was like, why didn't I know that when I played this casually? Because we just want to hold right and win, you know, basically. <laughs> That's what everybody yeah. says Sonic is. Hold right and win. There's so much more to Sonic. <laughs> yeah, hits. jump when needed, you know. <laughs> so I'm just going to jump oh. here a little bit Don't too high. Don't you hate missing that too high. kid? Too oh. high of a jump. I hate missing that jump. Goodness. Oh, well. Give us a lot of bottom path touring. I appreciate the deviation. No, what it, it's, it's real-time strats. He's saving real-time oh, here. Oh, I got you. Okay. The score bonus is only 10,000, which is really quick. I got you. So we have a potential world record here, then. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so waiting at the start here just for aiming for proper cycles to roll under all of those spike balls because even though you hit nice. the 10 ring box there, if you are going too fast, you can hit the spike ball and die before the rings actually enter your inventory, basically. Classic uh, Sonic. So I had to slow down a little bit there because if I kept on going while that door was going up, it would have crushed me and killed me. Crush this. Every Sonic person's favorite thing. Yes. So we're playing Sonic and we have to slow down. Yes. <laughs> Just a tad, not too much. Yes. I remember that. Can't go fast all the time? Not yeah. all the time. Can't go too fast. I'm not going to hold anything here just so I can get a smooth entrance into this area to get these. Isn't this the best part right here? This is the greatest yeah. part. Speed shoes and invincibility is like the, just the best thing. It's supersonic before supersonic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Quite literally because there is no supersonic in no, this game. No, <laughs> there's only six Chaos Emeralds as well. Pointless Emeralds. Yeah, pointless Emeralds. Oh, oh safe. Got him. You got it. <laughs> there you go. He knew what he was doing. I knew what I was doing. Yeah, it's backup strat. There. Nope. So I want to hit him on the little downward, uh, downward slope that he goes on yeah, there, just, just like up missed. and down and up and down. Yeah, he's doing like a little wave, but the little lower part, it's Sonic can reach that with his jump. Harder strat in the game, hitting the capsule. Yes, every time. <laughs> yes. Every time. Yeah, that's, that's half the game. Yeah. That one, what I consider the hardest level as a kid. Yeah. Almost half, you know. I did too. I really didn't like the boss. Of what? Of Labyrinth Zone. It's free. <laughs> <laughs> free. <laughs> free after like 25 deaths, you know. Now here's something that I thought was very interesting too, and he'll showcase it soon. But you normally will traverse through this whole entire thing, but just wait and watch. Go up this way here. He goes on this platform, gets up there, and then just wait. It's like a hidden little secret. <laughs> and you skip the whole entire water, water section. Nope. Don't die. Go no. No. This is why I don't like Sonic 1 Runners. They always do that. <laughs> yeah, trying to build that speed and oh boy. But it takes so much time and it's... I never knew about that until watching a speed run of it. Had no clue it existed. Yeah, same I didn't here. either. <laughs> yeah, same here. It's like, wait a minute, there's a platform there? <laughs> there's a thing there? I don't know. The developers didn't feel like playing the level. He was like, man, these word levels are garbage. You know? Yeah. You know? And then there's an interesting fact as well. Like if you're trying to go for all emeralds, there is exactly 50 rings if you take that top route. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Right in that little top, there is wow. one extra ring to get you to 50. I didn't know that. If you guys got any donations, feel free to read them. Yeah, sure, we got one from Let Mackey. $10. Blast from the past and time to go fast. Good luck, Sp Super Sonic. Donation goes to Runner's Choice. Thank you. Uh, well, 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 let's put it towards NES Golf. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gotcha. All right, so we got this water section here. So normally when he's underwater, he would have to be worried about breathing. But luckily with this invincibility, you don't have to worry about that at all. So he wants to try to get, th like, traverse all through this without... Oh, no. Yeah. We uh, apologize for all the bad memories we're bringing up. <laughs> 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 no, no, <laughs> not the drowning. So I wanted to boost to the right, um, but I got boosted to the left. So if I kept on going, I probably wouldn't have made it without getting a bubble, but I took the safety bubble just in case. That death sound is one of the best sounds in video game history, I'm saying. What, the drowning <laughs> sound? <laughs> I'm not purposely just making it happen, man. I'm not about you. It's fantastic. I was always stressed out. Yeah, it's definitely stressful, I think. I heard somebody. I s rings. Yeah, grab those rings. <laughs> I, I heard somebody say that once they decided to set it as their alarm clock, they had it for about a day and oh went man. never again. You oh know what you need to man. do? You need to go to YouTube and find the compilation of every sound, a Sonic drowning thing. It's one long YouTube video from every game, even your stuff, man. Really? Yeah. Holy. Good stuff. So there was a bubble strat for this stage, but I'm not going to go for it because I'm not consistent with it. So we'll just grab a bubble like in the middle of the stage here. The scary bottom part, man. It's it's kind of it's what you actually see in the demo of Sonic One right here. You usually see this happening when you uh, get the credits. You see that part. Oh, this is a little scary here. Though. 
So uh, <laughs> another thing that I guess speedrunners do during Come this on, run bubble. is that they kind of like... Come on, bubble. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they uh, they kind of do like a little three tap thing and they call it the piano where they're like playing the bubble, uh, the buttons like a piano. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he was doing that right there. Yeah, you hear a lot of three taps and six taps in the Sonic world. It's going without the checkpoint. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to go without the shield as well. <laughs> wow. Full strong. Full YOLO here. He's going full YOLO. <laughs> yeah, those three rings that he grabbed at the start of the level are pretty much the only rings you can get. Now, this boss was murder as a kid. Yes. yes. The one of the worst part about this boss is if you get hit and fall in the water, like water, water phases don't exist. You just plummet like an anchor just straight down to until you hit the ground somewhere. So. And it's designed in such a way that if you fall down on either like one of the left or the right hand holds, it's like that's it. You're straight down like four floors. Yeah. Easy. But good level. Not even in the water. Yeah. The yeah. water just finally caught up. Yep. yep. So coming up to Starlight next, probably one of the most chill soundtracks in the Sonic franchise, I think. It's one of my favorite levels out of Sonic 1. Yeah, it's a nice level that you can go fast again, you know, in Starlight compared to Labyrinth, you know. A lot of <laughs> loops and a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. Again, rolling down slopes there just to build up speed. Nice height. Oh. Straight in the spring. Jumping over there straight to the end. So nice easy. short stage as well, which yeah. is great. I mean, when you're on the top path, that bottom path on these levels, I mean, there's there's uh, death pits everywhere. Oh, yeah, you don't want to go on the bottom path. But yeah. as you said before, that's staple of the Sonic series. Like, top is best. There is. Have a time for a quick one? Yes, yeah. go ahead. Ten dollars from Bartaball saying, Can't wait to see my favorite big boy, Big John, play another game. Hype! <laughs> Obviously goes towards the golf incentive, which is at 750 out of 5,000 now. So it's going really well. It just barely started. It's already so far. So keep going, guys. So for this part, he has to, like, as he's jumping, he's not just, like, running like you do with Sonic normally, but he is jumping specific points so that he can gain more momentum. Deliberately taking the bottom path. Yeah, that's a little scary kind of <laughs> risky. Going down there. He can split those and just fall all the way down to nothing. You know? Yeah. But um, start again. All right, act three. This is where it's like one of the biggest run killers, like especially in the boss fight too. Yeah. So at the start of the level here, we're gonna try and get a good jump onto the ramp. Allowing us to get enough speed to get up onto the seesaw area. This allows us to skip a good chunk of the level on the other side there. Take the top path here. No subpixels, please. Nice. Good slide as well. We swag. Ultimate <laughs> swag. <laughs> And then the deliberate damage boost. Yes. yes. Look at that lag. That lag is beautiful. beautiful. And he was aiming for the second one right there. Let's see if we can get a good boss pattern here. Yeah, so our boss fights, we want to get this in. Uh, sometimes you get some frame perfect jumps off that we just did there. Off the seesaw. Uh. Oh, please. Ah, I almost had him. Okay, this is not good. All right. There you go. There you go. Uh. So yeah, that boss follows a specific pattern, but you see there that the second you lose that, that boss can go haywire. Because um, once those little uh, spike balls explode, they fire off four balls, and you've got to dodge them. Having no rings just makes that boss so much worse. Yeah. Scrap brain. Easiest level in the game. Nice. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> disagree. Hard disagree. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting because Act 1 and Act 2 are pretty different between each other. You know, this one is like yeah, a lot of choice of paths here, um, up, down, middle, and eventually kind of, you know, come back together again. But, yeah, a lot of blind jumps. Sometimes you have to wait for some platforms to show up. This section right here, like that, we're waiting for those platforms to show up with those rings. And, woo. A little lag there, too. Yeah. <laughs> 
So here on this upcoming part, he definitely knows I'm going to fall here. Falling down here is uh, not good. No. So you wait for the first set. of You can get over the first set of platforms quite easily. On the second one, you want to wait a rotation. That way the flames at the other side die down, and you can pass without any issue. Falling down there, you have... Probably, well, it is 50-50. You have a 50-50% chance of either hitting a platform and coming up from the bottom side or falling into a death pit. Yeah. The good thing about Act 2, you know, there's no really no death lanes. It's just which path do you want to go? Um, uh, Don't run all these. There, there, there you go. go. Yeah. <laughs> these fantastic spinning devices here. That's a lot harder than it looks. So deliberately damage boosting through fire and the electricity here, so we can just pass through it. Hopefully this spike ball is in the right position. <laughs> oh Not boy. too bad. Shout out to lag there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had to like a little like improvise there a little bit. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump underneath these things just to get a little more momentum. Super so Sonic, I'm expecting the swag bounce here. Yeah, uh, off the life box. I'm waiting for it. Oh, he's going for the ring box! Swag! Ah, <laughs> so yeah, if you blinked and you missed that there, um, there's actually meant to be two ring boxes down there. There was only one yeah. because there were too many <laughs> objects on screen, so the game just refuses to load it. It's of like, all things to despawn a monitor. But it can despawn, really? but the best thing is it can despawn the life one as well. Oh, we so can? if you're trying to bounce yeah. off the life one, it's just not there. You're like, yeah. thanks game, appreciate it. <laughs> I thought this was 16 bit. Like, it should be to do that, right? I don't know. <laughs> Sprite right. limits. All right, say hello to Eggman. Eggman. Shout out to you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Swizzy. So, Act 3 is, I think everybody's a kid try this, and it actually is beneficial because we can literally skip about 85% of this level and just kind of go right over to the ending of it. I tried to do a glitchless run of this game um, quite recently. I had no idea where I was going in here because I always normally skip it. Yeah. And it's like, wait a minute, this is just Labyrinth 3. Why yeah. would you do this? <laughs> yeah, the purple Kool-Aid isn't bad here, and we're done with Act 3. That's, that's it. That's it, yeah. You know? So coming into the final zone now, uh, Supersonic hopefully going to manipulate this boss for the correct pattern. So four. Three. The next one should be three. three. Yep. So again, no rings here. So one hit is you are dead. Another, th another thing, too, that he's doing is that he's not trying to put in any inputs as he's hitting the boss. Yeah, that's how the manipulation works. The next one should be two. Then we should go back to four. I'm not saying the next one because it's going to be wrong. I want to <laughs> say two, but I bet I'm wrong. I think it's three? Okay. No, I was right. It's two. Next oh, one's one. Two. I know the next yeah. one. See, this is a lesson not in commentary. This is a lesson on arc. Remember the number. You need to remember the number. <laughs> so the next one should be four. And then finishing on three. And time is coming up very soon as well. We'll mm -hmm. let you know. So three. And then one more head afterwards. And hopefully you're going to show off the little glitch. Yeah. Yeah. Shout outs to uh, the Sonic 1 community. There That's time. And decapitation. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no. And time. Yeah. That was a 113. 113. Yeah, in practice, he got 114. Yeah. That's a 22.52. Not bad, nice. considering uh, the little mishaps here and there, but I'm pretty happy with this run. And also, yeah. thanks, thanks to you guys for commentating. Also, yeah. shout out to Dracodan for helping me get out to ESA. It's uh, very awesome being here. And um, I got three more runs coming up, or four. I don't know. I mean, I got a few more coming math. up. <laughs> math. Math is hard. So, yeah, so stay tuned. We got a lot more awesome runs coming up. So thanks, guys.